You need anything, you just ask. We might not have your uncle's resources, but resourcefulness we've got in spades. You need anything, you just ask. We might not have your uncle's resources. <laughs> Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. All done? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Always something in there. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. What? But... Fine. Let me know if you change your mind, though. If I haven't set out. Uh, what about and the stories? I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well. I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost.
Then again, why settle for low-born chaff when we've honest to goodness royalty right here beneath our roof? If Prince Dion cannot see my love for him, then perhaps the Phoenix will. Then again, why settle? Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for a lesson today? I finally finished the book I was writing. You're welcome to read it. If young Jocelyn hasn't already defiled its pages with his infernal scribblings. <laughs> I finally finished the book I was writing. Canva lost. in the hands of Akashic. We'll need to find another port. Preferably one as well hidden as the ironworks. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um... Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? Oh. I see how it is. <laughs> Not really. I knew you were a busy man. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional, transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Can't say I've ever been to the Silent Sound myself. Nor Advent, for that matter. <laughs> I've hardly ever been out of the duchy, to tell you the truth. I did get the chance to visit Lost Plume once, though. What a piece of work that place is. Would have stuck around to study the relics more. If half of them hadn't been trying to blimmin' kill me. <laughs> Can't say I've ever been to the sun. How was she?
you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. What is this place? <gasps> Don't move! It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then. Of course. 
I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our cause, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. It's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it. You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. You need anything, you just ask. We might not have your uncle's resources, but resourcefulness. I suppose you've got quite the tale to tell. Thought I'll let you get some nice warm stew in you first, before I go bothering you for the details. Need it back at all. I suppose you've got quite the tale to tell. Karen says she'll provide what she can for our voyage to Ash, and has even agreed to forgo payment. Until our return, that is. Karen says she'll provide what she can for our voyage to Ash. Come back. Oh, adrift on form-flecked peaks, despair moves me. Yet in the dark, a flame is sparked that warms us in its glow. You don't know what you're talking about. Good morrow to you, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Did you learn everything you needed? Sid, 
Did you know that chocobos are far more resilient to the effects of ether than most other beasts? Some say that's one of the reasons they were tame. Clive. Don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. Coin purse weighing you down. Finished, are you? Mm, the stew's awfully thin these days. Oh, what do you expect? What do I owe the honor? Yeah. The weight of all that shit. Clever girl, that one. What do you want? No scratches, right? It's a dangerous world out. It'd better all be here. Finished, are you? Trouble with your gear, or so will it be? Bad, if I do say so myself. Anything else? Is there out you need? Be seeing ya. If I painted you black, could you fly me across the lake? Are you even listening? Painted you black. Could you fly me across the lake? Are you even listening? Sorry, Molly's lemon tarts. I've never had anything so delicious. Can the loss? I'm sorry, but Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for our lesson today? So, she don't need sails, just or oars. But she's still the fastest ship on the sea. Ah, Sid. I saw Mid and the others made it back in one piece. Mm, more or less. <laughs> would that the free cities had fared so well. It would take years to rebuild what was lost to His Majesty's Akashic army. Ah, Sid! I saw Mid and the others made it back in one piece. It all you like. It doesn't make it true. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. 
If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid. I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Stay strong. Ah, my Lord Marquis. Your companions are kind indeed. I must admit... But I see now. It was the greatest honor of my life. But now, so I bid you. 
go safely. You need anything, you just ask. We might not have your own resources. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to East Point as soon as the rebuilding work is complete. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. But I can speak to her at least. Karen says she'll provide what she can for our voyage to Ash. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's Rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's Rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. I would have gone to Martha's rest with Doris, but she ordered me to stay behind. And I'm not about to start disobeying orders. I would have gone to Martha's rest with Doris, but she... Your grace, oh, my lord Marquis. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Forgive my impertinence, my lord. Ah, my lord Marquis. You... He... It's very... I... There are buts and... 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 My lord. For Joshua... Anything. Thank you, my lord. So... What is this critical ingredient? 
a rare herb by the name of stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source, one that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. I had only thought to ask for your assistance in finding a new source of stone award, but if you're sure about collecting it from the flood by the aqueduct, I should be most grateful, my lord. I had only thought to ask for your... waiting for you inside. Well, go on then. Oh, you're here. Sir Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. I have some things for sale. Farewell, traveller. Anyone without a blade, come and get one. Sharpest edge in Dravosh, guaranteed. Promise you'll come back to me. Don't you dare leave me alone. I promise, all right? Now stay indoors and stay quiet. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did ya? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan. Our master didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me, the best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to sell petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead? You're what Dravos needed. 
Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Prick or not, I won't abandon Dravos to a swarm of Akashic. Prick or not, I won't abandon Dravos to a swarm of Akashic. Just say the word. The villagers know to keep out of sight when the fighting starts. Just say the word. You, uh, ready for the off, then? Cheers, Clive. I won't be long now. Honest. You, uh... We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackford. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah?
Is that it? Apparently not. Question is, did I miss any? Man alive! You stood in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. How you do know? More will come in time. In time? Yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. 
With the ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always... envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I well, hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day, because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravosht in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. I'll get him back to the Idaway. Don't you worry about that. I'll get him back to the idol. With a little help from Blackthorn, 
I don't see why we can't restore Dravos to its former glory. <laughs> and barring ether floods, that is. I'll tell you what, Clive. If we pull this off, it will ruin every other sword you've ever held. With a little help from... I'll tell you what, Clive. If we pull this off... Himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the Outer Isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then. make you pair the greatest craftsmen alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials? Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravost. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! with your gear, or... I never thought me and Zoltan would ever speak again, let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. So, what'll it be? to thank me for the sword. I'm happy just to be here. You've built a fine home for yourselves. 
And I can see why Blackthorn's so taken with it. <laughs> Look after the old bastard for me, will you? I'll be off soon, but next time you're in Dalmek here, be sure to pay me a visit. Snotty will let you in. <laughs> uh, no need to... Do you reckon we finally got to the bottom of Blackthorn's troubles, then? That'd be something, eh? Now, he wouldn't be Blackthorn if he didn't give us the odd scale. Do you reckon we finally got... It's the bottom of Blackthorn's troubles, then. in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. You need anything, you just ask. We might not.
with these ones first.
Enforcements arrive. All right, that should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others. And never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him. And I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord. Do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. You and your brother really are alike, my lord. Though selflessness is a virtue, I beg you, please take more care of yourselves. You and your brother really are alike, my lord. Though selflessness is a virtue, I beg you, please take more care of yourselves.